subjects in this video we are going to explain about hand gesture recognition and voice conversion for deaf and dumb introduction by using a machine learning system the initiative intends to improve communication for the deaf and dumb community the technology converts hand motions into understandable audio output by using convolutional neural network cn to predict hand gestures from webcam image Despite initial attempts using SVM producing inaccurate results, switching to CNN greatly increases accuracy. The solution eliminates communication gaps by running a simple program and adhering to appropriate gesture display, allowing those with hearing impairments in general public to interact without any difficulty. Objective: The purpose of this project is to create a machine learning system that can recognize hand movements filmed on a webcam in order to improve communication for the deaf and dumb community. The technology uses a convolutional neural network (CNN) in place of more conventional imprecise techniques to correctly understand the movements. This creative approach closes the communication gap and fosters inclusivity by translating recognized gestures into equivalent spoken words, enabling better better understanding and engagement between deaf and dumb people and the larger population requirements the requirements of the project are hardware requirements and software requirements in hardware requirements we have operating system of windows processor of i5 and above ram of 4 gb and above hard disk of 20 gb and above software requirements and software requirements we have python ideally with 3.7 version Methodology to implement this project, we have designed the following four modules. The first module is extract image from webcam. In this module, the system captures video frames in real time from the webcam. Each frame is essentially an image that contains the user's hand gesture. The webcam acts as a continuous stream of input data, providing the visual information required for further processing. Second module is convert image to binary or gray format and background removal. The captured frames are often in color but for gesture recognition it's common to convert them into grayscale images to simplify processing. Grayscale images contain a single channel representing the intensity of each pixel. Additionally, background removal techniques may be employed to isolate the hand gesture from the rest of the frame. This can involve methods like thresholding to create a binary image where the hand is highlighted against a black background. Third module is extract features from image. This step involves analyzing the processed grayscale or binary image to extract relevant features that help the model differentiate between different hand gestures. These gestures could include edges, contours, shape and patterns present in the image. These features form the input that the machine learning model specifically the convolutional neural network CNN uses to make predictions. Fourth module is rec- recognition and play audio. After extracting features from the pre-processed image, the trained CNN model predicts the corresponding hand gesture. Once the or- gesture is recognized, the system converts the recognized gesture into audio output. This audio output could be synthesized speech that conveys the meaning of the recognized gesture. This integration of gesture recognition and audio synthesis enables communication for the deaf and dumb community by conveying the gestures through spoken language. Execution for the execution of the project we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder. This is the data set folder. In the data set folder we are having the different hand gestures C down fist i okay palm thumb. And in these folders we are having the images of the respective hand gesture. This is the model folder. This folder contains pickle files stored which contains algorithm information. These files can be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the train models. And this is the play folder in which we have the audios for the different hand gestures. And this is run.bat file. Instead of executing the project in the command line interface, we created windows bat file to execute the project. Double click on run.bat file. This is the graphical user interface which we have created using the Kentel library in Python. Using this GUI we will interact with the project. Click on upload hand gesture dataset to upload the dataset. Select the dataset and open. 
so here we can see that the data set is loaded and this is the location of the data set now click on train cnn with gesture images to train the model so here we can see that cnn in tra is trained and we got the total images cnn hand gesture training model prediction accuracy now click on sign language recognition from webcam so here the webcam will be on and i will give some of the hand gestures and the and the model will predict the type of hand gesture so i'm giving the hand gesture so here we can see we have a green box and here we have the video frame so in this video frame our hand gesture will be shown and in this green color box i will show the hand gesture and the model will predict the type of hand gesture thumbs up so this gesture is recognized as i and on top of the video feed we can see it is written in yellow color feed gesture recognized as i and here in the video frame we can see the hand gesture properly that is i thumbs up i so this hand C. gesture is I. recognized as C. thumbs up i so here thumbs down i thumbs I. up i so palm fist thumbs I. up okay thumbs I. down fist I. thumbs down and this hand gesture is recognized thumbs as down. thumbs down and on top you can see it is written thumbs down fist c i palm i and this hand gesture palm. is recognized fist. as palm i palms down palm. and we can see on top of the screen video feed it is recognized as palm now we will close the video frame and feed i thumbs up thumbs down i so in this way the hand gesture will be recognized now we will close the gui and the conclusion of the project is The project's main goal is to employ machine learning to break down communication barriers for deaf and dumb people. Convolutional neural networks (CNN) are used in place of SVM by the system to recognize hand motions taken by webcams with greater accuracy. The model is trained to understand various hand gestures and translate them into related speech output using a data set of these gestures. The method provides a workable answer for real-time communication. The project emphasizes how deep learning has the ability to improve the inclusion and accessibility of communication systems for the deaf and dumb community. Thank you for watching the video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe